Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back. And today I want to talk to you about one of my favorite tools that I use on my kayak and my boat every time I'm out fishing. So stay tuned, we're going to dive right in. and welcome back and I hope so far 2021 is treating you guys pretty well um, crazy year already um, not sure how things are gonna go uh, you know we're just gonna have to take it one day at a time I guess but today we're gonna talk about one of my favorite tools that I use on my kayak and my boat um, it's something that I've been using for several years now it's a great product and I wanted to show it to you guys um, some of you probably already know about it some of you probably already use it but uh, I just wanted to touch on it it's something I really like and I really enjoy using, and it's actually been a game changer for uh, me fishing. Um, and let's talk about, you know, when you guys are out there fishing and you're out there either on your kayak or on your, I mean, I fish a little uh, 10 foot Bass Raider boat that I have. Um, and uh, those are usually my two mains of being out on the water. I don't have a big boat anymore. And uh, I'm out there doing stuff. But when I catch a really big fish, you know, you want to take a picture of it, you know, you want to get a good picture. Some of you guys may want to keep it, but I just take pictures and put them back. And uh, in the summertime, keeping fish out of water for a long period of time is actually bad for them. And a lot of times they won't recover and go back. So you want to figure out a way to take a picture of that fish and, and be able to do that and then release it and, and make sure the fish is healthy. And a lot of times what we'll do is we'll have the fish and we'll hold it down the water and try to let it get some oxygen. And we'll take it out and try to, to you know, we'll hold it down the water and we'll try to get our camera ready and then take it out of the water and do that. And I don't know if you guys have ever had it happen, but I've had it happen to me a couple times where I'm holding the fish in the water and I think I got a good grip on it. And the fish all of a sudden jumps or freaks out and then I lose it and then he's gone and he swam off and I didn't get the picture. Um, and that's always a bummer <laughs> and it's happened to me a couple times but there is a solution there's a really good solution this is something I use and if you've been following me for a while you guys know that I use this all the time and it's called the donkey leash now if you guys have not seen one of these things it's literally a leash for a fish and it's super cool because this right here this piece right here um, all you gotta do is take this and you, it has a little little clasp in there there's two little things, and you just squeeze it open like that, and that opens the prongs up. So if it's closed like this, you just squeeze it like that, and that opens the prongs up. And then you take this, and you clip it in the, you put it, let's say this is the fish's lip, you just clip it over it, and then you just clamp it down. And so when you clamp it down like that, excuse me, it locks in the fish's mouth, and uh, you're good to go. You got that fish. And then you can take, you got this long bungee cord. This is a super long cord, and then you can take it, and you put the fish back in the water, and boom. There he is, the fish is healthy, he's in the water, he's recovering while you're getting your camera and stuff ready. And it has this nifty little clip right here. I have little hooks on my kayak that I can clip it to, and I have little eyelets on my boat that I can clip that to as well. And I just clip it on there, and so the fish is in the water, he's recovering, I can get my camera and get whatever I want to get ready to take pictures and stuff, and boom, there you go, it's, it's, it's a done deal. And then I just pull the fish out. A lot of times when I hold the fish, I just leave the clip on it and I hold it a certain way where you don't see the clip and I take the pictures. But you can just take the clip off, like I said, just by grabbing it like that, and it opens it up, and you can pop the fish off, you can take your photo, you can put him back on there, put him back in the water, show your friends if you're out there fishing with other people and stuff. And it's just a great, great tool. These are not very expensive. I think they're like 15 or $16, and um, it's very well made. I have used this on hundreds of fish now, and the biggest fish I've had on it so far is about, a, it, well, it wasn't about, it was a seven pound largemouth that I caught, and I actually clipped this on it, put him back in the water, got my camera ready, um, took pictures of it, then I paddled over to the bank with them, and showed a couple people the fish, and then I released the fish, and the fish was fine. These things work awesome, I love it. It's such a simple device, I mean, it just opens, and then all you do is go, just like that, clamp it closed, boom, there you go. You got your fish, you can put it in the water. And even if you're a bank fisherman, this works because you can do the same thing. You can clip it, you can set the fish back in the water. You can actually clip this onto your belt loop if you wanted to and stand by the bank, get your camera ready, then get the fish out. It's a really, really great tool. And especially in the summertime when it's hot and you want you want those fish to be able to recover. If you want to get a picture of them, you clip, what, I, what I do 
is I will catch the fish, I'll get them unhooked, I'll literally click this on them, I'll set them back in the water immediately, then I fumble around, get my camera and stuff ready, get it all set up, and then I can just pick the fish up out of the water, take that picture, and then I can release the fish. And what's really cool is you can just set him back in the water on this, and then you can just reach down and just hit that little lever, unhook it, and let the fish go. He's already recovered in the water, and he takes off. It's a great, great tool. I love this thing. I have a couple of them. These are awesome. I highly recommend them. They work really, really awesome. And it's a great way to keep those fish healthy, get those pictures that you want. And um, it's just an awesome, awesome tool to have. And it doesn't take up any room. When I'm on my kayak, I clip this on a little thing and I throw it underneath the seat and it's out of the way. And then when I need it, I just grab the cable and I pull it out and do it and then I throw it back under there and I go back to fishing. It's not my way. It's just a great tool. I love it. It's really simple, real easy to use. Um, just a simple, simple, um, just a simple tool and it works great. It's phenomenal and you can put big fish on it and it works just fine and I highly recommend it. So yeah, that's what I got um, for you guys today. I really wanted to show you guys this. If you haven't tried this out, you should really try it out. If you ever see me out on the water, feel free to ask me. I have one of them. I'll be glad to show it to you, show you how it works. And um, they're just an awesome, awesome tool. You can find these on eBay. You can find them on Amazon. Um, you can find them at Tackle Warehouse as well. Um, those are the three places I know for a fact that you can get them at. And um, they're any they're like fifteen or sixteen dollars. Not not a bad price, and they last. And I've had these for years. One thing I did do is because it comes with a little white string in here. That holds on I changed mine out for 550 cord I just like 550 cord it's a lot stronger um, it was a nylon rope that was in there I just like the 550 cord so I put a 550 cord one in there um, that was just my personal preference to do that so I swapped mine out for a 550 cord in there you don't have to do that I just chose to do that um, I'm, I'm one of those redundant you know better safe than sorry guys and likes things to be real strong so that was just my thing so so there you guys go there's a nifty little thing this is a great tool to have I love this. It's an awesome piece of equipment. You should definitely get it. Um, if you don't have a live well on your boat and you're fishing out of John boats and things like this, this is a great way to do that and keep those fish nice and healthy and alive when you're taking pictures and stuff. And um, It's just a good thing for the fish. It doesn't hurt the fish. This actually goes around his lip and it just clips on there and holds it really good. I've never had any issues with it. So um, really, really great tool. I recommend it highly and um, I hope you guys enjoyed that and hope that you enjoyed that video. I hope that helps you out and I hope you'll try it out. So um, that being said, that's all I got for you guys today. Um, I hope you guys are getting out there and catching some fish. Um, I'm looking forward to the pre-spawn and, and spring coming. I'm getting through this next month of February, and once March rolls around, the fish will really start picking up and biting again. And uh, I love that spring bite. It's just a lot of fun. You get into the pre-spawn and that spawning fish, and you can catch some really big donkeys during that time. Um, and it's going to be a lot of fun. And just so you guys know, um, the other thing is, is that red, February, February is red. Um, start trying red color baits because they'll start biting them the crawls and things like that. I throw lipless red um, crankbaits and stuff like that in February and March and I uh, get a lot of fish throwing red colored baits. So it's a good month to be trying to throw red, especially now that the fish are still down deep and stuff. But they like that red. For some reason, February and March is red. I don't know why. It's just fish like it. Um, they like that color during that time of year and um, it's a good bait point. So that's my little fishing tip for you too. So there you guys go. Hope you enjoyed the video. Do me a favor. Hit that like button, subscribe button, ding dong bit button. Ugh. All those things you got to do for YouTube. That helps me out. Helps me grow my channel. And just do yourself a favor. Get out there. Get your lines wet and catch some fish.